everybody, it's Ian the Off Kilter Crafter here. We're going to go ahead and jump right into today's video. I recently had a project where both my work and crafting collided into a really fun project. Um, I was asked to make a lab coat that whoever put it on would represent math, and so I had some ideas on how to do that, but um, it was really awesome that I was able to use my Cricut to cut out some iron-on transfers and be able to dress up the lab coat in that way. So we're going to go ahead and jump directly into what all goes into the Cricut vinyl, excuse me, the Cricut iron-on material. Um, I was very intimidated at first when I started this project, but it is actually not hard at all. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at what I did for this. First thing I did is I cut everything out um, on the Cricut, of course. And don't forget, if you're cutting using the iron-on transfers, you have to mirror the image whenever you're cutting it. It should come up in that little window, and you just click the little checkbox before you hit the go button, and it should um, mirror it. I forgot to do that on one of mine, but that's okay. It actually worked out for the better. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to cut out these sheets using my close-to-my-heart non-stick scissors. These are awesome scissors. Um, they have a really fine point to them, which is great great for getting into small little details and I absolutely love that they don't stick to anything so this material even though the plastic backing to the iron-on transfer is very sticky it allowed me to be able to cut things out and not have that plastic material stick to my scissors as I was trying to cut so here I am cutting everything out I'm cutting out each individual number or mathematical symbol there's 3.14159, which is the beginning of pi. Had to have that somewhere, and I actually hit a couple things. You also can see it's reversed, but there's also a little hidden 9 and 3 quarters up um, towards the top of this sheet, and if you're a Harry Potter fan, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I say that. So I'm just continuing to cut out all these shapes and different numbers. This vinyl is great. I keep saying vinyl. It's, I guess it's technically vinyl, um, but it works really, really well, and I could not have been more pleased with working with this. Again, I said it intimidated me um, because I didn't know what I was doing, but it really was not hard after you just kind of play with it a little bit. So that's why I started off with a small number when I started ironing these on. and I was worried that my iron wouldn't get hot enough, but it absolutely did. It got hot enough, and it worked out perfectly. Alright, so I've cut everything out, and now I'm starting to iron everything. And the first thing you do is, first of all, you make sure that your iron is set so that the steam is off. And when you do that, um, that will help out tremendously because you don't want to get all these shapes soggy. Now, I've sped everything up, so sorry that it's more of a blur than anything else. But you'll notice that every time I iron, I put down a um, piece of cloth to cover it up. You have to do that so that way it doesn't stick directly to the iron. I did accidentally forget to put that cloth down once, and when that happened, um, the plastic sheet actually stuck to the iron and kind of freaked me out. I thought I had ruined it, but luckily enough, I was able to get it off with no problem and everything worked out. You'll see me ironing on this gigantic five. It took a lot of passes. You want to rub really hard. You want to push down and get everything covered completely. And I had to do this five several times because there were several places where it kept pulling up. So I kept going back with that iron until I made sure it was completely down. And then even after I finished with it, I pulled up the plastic, I actually laid that cloth back down over it again with just the five there and made sure to run my iron over it again just to make sure that it was completely secured to my um, lab coat. Now here you see the um, different, the blue sheet. The blue sheet is the one that I did backwards, so that's seven right there, it's backwards. Whoops, my bad. It actually came out just fine, but do remember as you're cutting things out, because I'm pretty sure you don't want them backwards, do be, do be very careful um, to make sure you mirror that and Make sure that it's mirrored so that way you don't end up accidentally um, cutting it out backwards and then attaching it to the article of clothing. Now, when I cut these out, I did not actually use the... There's a setting on it for the... Um, oh, I'm going blank now. Um, <laughs> there's a setting on the Cricut for iron-on. Um, I actually did not see that, so I actually cut it out on the vinyl setting. And then when I went to the... Um, glitter material, the glitter iron-on, um, it actually is on 
um, I think paper, paper plus, something like that. I, I f didn't cut it on the right set setting, but it actually cut out just fine, so there was no worries there with that. And like I said, talking about that material that I used to iron over, um, use a piece of cloth that you're not interested in using anymore, or you know, you're know you not going to need it. Um, it shouldn't mess up that material at all, um, but you know, the bandana, I have i don't really use bandanas, I just have it for costume pieces or, um, I mean, I don't even really use it very much, so I was able to just throw this down and say, you know, if it gets ruined, it's fine, no big deal, but I would definitely not recommend using your best, you know, lace table cover for your dining room table. <laughs> right now on the screen, you're actually seeing, this is um, an exhibit that we have up at work right now and it has this 360 degree camera which is really cool so I took a picture in the 360 so you can see all sides of it and that's the lab coat it came out really well and I could not have been happier with the results um, really like it so if you're interested in doing some Cricut iron-on transfer material I would recommend definitely trying it out it is a lot more simple than you think it is don't freak out it's really easy and can be a lot of fun. You can cr really create some fun um, fun shirts or clothing. You know, we just passed Halloween, and a lot of people used some of that iron-on material for their Halloween costumes. So now this gives you another year to think about what you want to iron on for your Halloween costume next year. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, don't forget, up in the top right-hand corner, there's a box that you can actually subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video. And also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you'd like. Hope everybody has a great week, and I will see you again soon. Bye, everybody.